Last week I went down to the San Jose Museum of Art with my friend Pam Hayda. We took Caltrain. The walk from the Caltrain station to the San Jose Museum of Art over the Guadalupe River takes you past some of the public art that's in the city, including these metal bugs that are by the adobe building. This installation is called The Wildlife of the Guadalupe River by Nobi Nagasawa. The San Jose Museum just started charging admission about a month or so ago. It has been free for a long time, but they lost their corporate sponsorship, so it's now $8 to get in. But I found this visit to be worth the 8 bucks. The main show we went down to see was Family Legacies, the art of Betty, Leslie, and Allison Saar. It's been up for a while, and it's only got one more week to go. It closes uh, January 8th. I've been familiar with the work of all three SARS, but I honestly got the daughters mixed up sometimes. I, I could recognize the work of a SAR, but not necessarily know who was who sometimes when I saw it. And this show really helped me sort that out. It was obvious that they were connected, and it was obvious by the time I left the show, the distinct personalities of each of them, and, and also the uh, mediums that they work in. Um, Allison tends to lean more towards sculpture, Leslie more towards painting, and Betty more towards constructions, although there's lots of blurring, but toward the end of the show, I could see a piece and know immediately who did it before I read the wall tag. There was a video interview with the women that played in a continuous loop in one section of the exhibit, and I found it very helpful. Um, I'd never seen pictures of them before, actually, and um, they all talked about their work and, and pointed out various pieces that were in the exhibit around us and talked about their inspirations for it. They collaborated on a few pieces that were in one corner of the exhibit made to honor the death of Betty's husband and Allison and Leslie's father. And one of the pieces in that section of the exhibit was a little black desk with a raven holding a ribbon, a white ribbon, which rolled off one side of the desk and went into a basket at the, on the floor on the other side of the desk. And visitors were asked to inscribe the names of people who had died that they wanted to remember. And Adjacent to the family legacy show of the SARS work was a couple of rooms that the San Jose Museum of Art put together of work by families in the Bay Area. And it was upstairs is the listening post a darkened room, really comfy couches, and a big wall full of tiny little screens with text messages and emails flowing across them, and some techno music, and um, occasionally an electronic voice reading some of the messages. And sometimes there's only one message, and sometimes there's layers of multiple messages. side of this room was um, 
an installation of illuminated globes with all kinds of um, socio-political information on them. And uh, the wall between the two exhibits was incomplete so that the sound from the listening post bled over into the world processor exhibit. They also, on the second floor, had an exhibit of new acquisitions, 